Hello and welcome back to Pandemic Playground with Dave. We are back at Ship Evolution and today let's think about putting on some jump drives. Alright, so today I think we can put on some jump drives, but before we do that, we could probably fix up the neck piece a little bit more, I think, somehow. Well, we could definitely close this piece out right here. So maybe that's something we kind of take care of now. So obviously we can extend this part out more. Uh, or a bit more. Because this this is like kind of empty space here. So let's figure how we're going to do something like that. I'm not even too sure exactly what I'm going to do here. But we do need to extend it out some more. I mean, we could just extend these pieces out some more. And we can do that by adding the other types of slow blocks. So like something like this one here. And this one here. So that kind of extends out just a tad more. It's not a significant amount more, but just a tad bit more. And of course we could do more than that. We could just continue on with that shape on this side here. Um, so we can do something like that right there. Or... Using this block, we can put it right here like that too. So that's a possibility. I don't want to make it too skinny. So why not? We, we're just going to end up doing the two here for now. I think that's the best bet. Um, otherwise, it's going to get a little too close for comfort when we're backing up into it. Which is not something I would prefer. Oh, I think that's supposed to be the opposite, right? <laughs> mm, no, it should be this way. Okay. Alright, so that is... You know, just add it uh, more to it. Just a little longer of a neck. Not, necessar not necessary to do. And I think I'm going to add a little more to that as well. So here... I'm going to add... This one. And right there, I think I want to kind of make this longer. Would it look good if I added one of these guys here and then the tinier slope like so? Okay, that's cutting it kind of close. But that might actually look a little bit better. Just a little added more design there. Uh, we'll see what that looks like really quick. And let's see. Um, no, that looks okay. Alright, so we can just add this one. This one I want it to be not as long, so it's not going to look that great. And there we go. So we just got to add a little bit more of a design there. So when we back up into it, I mean, we're not going to back up all the way over here anyway. So we can cover this whole thing up too, if we need to. So, of course, we can do that by adding more uh, generic blocks here. So we can do that, and if we wanted to, we can even do this. Um, just added more design to it. Does that look good? Mm, not really. <laughs> we add regular blocks here. I think we just do a regular. Yeah, regular is going to be fine. And of course, we can just finish that up there like so. And we can weld it up from there. So the rest of it, it's a bit of a design to it. Do we want to angle it some more or just leave it? We may just leave it because this is the hanging door. And the most we can do is ha put another piece right over here. But I don't think it's going to be necessary. So we can close that up and this up. Like so. And we could add whatever you want here. So, I mean, it could be we could just probably do like a spotlight or whatever the case may be as well. So something we could probably do. All right, there we go. So that's done. And we could add a little bit more design here too. So we can do, I guess we could do something like this if we really wanted to. Something like that. Not necessarily that specific. Um, there's got to be a better block and I think it's going to be this one here to do that. Right here, yep. There we go. So just gives it added design. And it's going to add it towards the merge block, which then we can't really connect anything to it. So, 
Um, that's what it's going to be right here. Not much we can add. We can still put more to it if we want. But I think, if anything, the best we can do is probably this thing here. Like so. And that's not going to match the bottom, but that's okay. Um, doesn't have to match whatsoever. So there we go. All right. So it's not closed up yet. So definitely more to go on this piece. But I think we can add some lights um, over there. Do we have any lights on this one? Hmm. We do not. So that's a bit of an issue. Kind of. Not really. <laughs> but we should add some lights here. I think even if we add a light here, that'll look decent. Because when we detach it, we still want this to look like a ship as well. So a spotlight obviously would help to see things. So we can always throw one of these guys here. And it's a decent spot for a spotlight. <laughs> in that sense. Um, and we will get, you know, some light going here. So it's not too, too bad. All right. We're all set with the lights. Obviously, it's going to be blocked by the bridge ship a little bit. But that's perfectly fine. Um, that's kind of the point for now. We do need to edit this piece out. We don't need two drills like that. And we could change the drill system just a bit more as well. I'm happy with the bridge ship. It looks good. The neck does look a little odd and a little bit of wonky here and there. But we're going to keep the design as is. Um, yeah, I kind of like it the way it is in terms of how it even looks. The back piece um, in terms of the neck. We do need to kind of figure that out a little bit. And let's just check on our super, oh, superconductors and see if we can make um, a jump drive. And the, me the reason why we need a jump drive is because we can use that to easily travel around one place to another place to get, um, to get our materials and resources because the ship does fly perfectly fine. It's still going to take forever though. So we do want to make sure to be able to maneuver it a little bit better than what it is now. Um, let's see. Do we have ice? We don't have ice. Okay. So what does it take to make a jump drive? So a jump drive looks like we can't even make it yet because we're missing some kind of progression, I think. Right. Or am I just, yeah, no, that's not it. Where is it? Right here, jump drive. So we need to make some kind of gravity generator or something like that just to get it going. And I think we could just make a small one. No, there's no small version of it. What I'm talking about. We could just make one here. Gravity components. We need six. Have we even made a gravity components before? No. Okay, we haven't made any before. So we just need six of these things here. So let's just make that and then we can make the gravity generator. We might not keep it. Uh, it likely won't keep it because we, know we don't need it to be kept. Um, let's see here. We do need to shift over the cockpit towards that side because now we have a ship that's facing that way. So it's going to be interesting too because this is the hallway. Right. And also the front. So if I separate it, how are we going to see the front? We don't have a bit of a bridge system, so we can't really view outside. We can't build it up here because of this um, thrusters. I mean, we could get rid of one thrust and put a cockpit right there if we really want to go that route. So we can kind of see that way. But we do probably want to tuck it inside. And if we tuck it inside, we may have to not be able to see <laughs> from a first person view. I mean, that's not something I prefer. I mean, I prefer to be able to see outside. So maybe I built something up here. Maybe. I'm not sure. Um, this whole big ship is going to take a bit more time to kind of build out. But for now, this thing definitely needs to kind of swap out. So then we can put it on the other side. So we can put it anywhere for now. We don't have to connect it. 
is if we connect it. Yeah, because if we connect it, mm, I mean, it's, it's it's a possibility to connect it. But if we don't connect it, we have a spare port here, but we got one over there anyways. So I'm just inclined to say, why not just put one in there? So where is my cockpit? Eights. And we're going to use the industrial cockpit because it has a port on the top. Don't necessarily need it, but sure, why not? <laughs> there we go. So we reverse that just to make sure we have it in the right way around. I think we're wasting a lot of hydrogen because it's on. Our hydrogen thrusters were on, so let's turn that off. We're going to waste a little bit of battery for the ion thrusters, but I'm not too, too worried about that because we have uh, a decent amount of uranium. So we should be okay there. All right, so from here, we can separate the ship and see how that's going to work. So we can, s I think we separate the ship. I think we could do that inside. I, I want to separate it so I can build out um, this piece out a little bit more, just a tad. So we're going to unlock that, bring it back, and we can unmerge. And then we fly this guy out. Alright, there we go. Okay. So we're not going to bring out too, too much. Um, and we also got to work on welding all this together. So that's something we need to get on as soon as possible. Okay, so looking at this ship here. The back neck piece is skinny and is looking a little bit odd for what it is. Like this thing's huge and it's getting small. And it gets into there. I mean, that's kind of the way I built it, to be honest. If we wanted to make it seem a little thicker, there is a way to do it. But um, I'm not sure how I want to do that. I mean, I could do some kind of looping system. Not looping, but a stretch around here. So I can do it now and see what that looks like in terms of a beam that's just adding extra design to it nothing too too crazy or fancy really and it's just gonna be adding something like this and then we're just gonna bring it up and over but we had to bring it up and over the piston here which is the problem or the connector here so might not be the best thing to do but it's just added design it's nothing in terms of um, keeping things working functionally Right, so we just add these guys here, and I don't normally do it this way because it's hard to kind of connect everything, but we can do it like so, right there. So we're just going to slowly bring it up as much as we can, and we can kind of keep with that design. I don't really play around with this kind of like angling too too much usually but this is not too too bad so let's see if we can get it going um, I feel like if we can get a thinner thing going upwards that'd be great but I don't think we can yeah we can't we have to go thicker too bad there's no smaller one where we can go upwards I think okay, can we use this one no <laughs> all right so if we bring it up a little bit more, yeah, we need to bring it up using this here. Not what I was imagining. Okay, so we from here, we just need to bring it up one more. And looks like I can't do it because something's in the way. What is in the way? Hmm. It might just be that. <laughs> so let's scratch that, see what we can do from here if we use the small one that's gonna end up like that what if we did this would that look okay <laughs> let's try it never really used that kind of angle before and then we'll just put it this way this way and we just flush it out like this alright that looks Eh, it's an added design, but it's not 
looking that great. So let's get let's get rid of that. Let's see if we could do it. A, a, it looks like it needs something thicker. So we're gonna do we could do the f full one. No, that's not looking good either. Half one. It's looking terrible as well. So not much we could do here. That one. No, that looks terrible. Yeah, I don't know what we can really put there. Let's leave it as what we have it as. Which is that skinnier one. This one here. Um, maybe if we weld it up, it'll look a little bit better. I don't know. Let's find out. Alright, there we go. So that's kind of the added design. Okay, that, that's looking a little bit funky. Not my best. Um, we can just easily get rid of it. It doesn't do anything. And hopefully it doesn't block it. No, it doesn't block it, so it's fine. Yeah, that's fine. It doesn't do anything, so we can leave it. I just think this, this part is just a little off. There's got to be a better way to kind of flush this out somehow, right? Guess if we did it this way. Yeah, we got to do it this way to kind of flush it out. Um... Can we use... I think we have to use a thicker version. And it's going to be like that. No, not like that. Do this. It looks a little bit better, but not really at the same time. <laughs> um... Alright, there. Is that better? Okay, that makes it a little bit better. And here we need the... Skinnier block here, like so. And there. Yeah, I think because it was too thin, it looks a little off. So I'm going to add it to be the thicker piece right there. So, okay, that's looking a little bit better, but not significantly better. Okay, so yeah, let's, let's just go with that for now. I think that's our best bet. Do we need this? Absolutely not. Um, just wanted to add a little bit more to it. Just to see if we can make it look any better or a little bit different or too plain. So there's that. Alright, there we go. So that adds a bit of a little pump to <laughs> the ship. A little bit of a ring system kind of thing. Just to add more design in the back. Because it just looks too plain back here, so we just gotta add um, just a tab in more here, so it just doesn't look as plain. We could definitely do a lot more, but I think that's good enough for now. We could add more down here if you want a similar piece to it, um, and you know what? Maybe we will do that. I think we just mimic that same exact design, so then it has that kind of a circular ring look to it. And it should be easy enough to do, so let me put that together really quick. Alright, so that's the added piece on the bottom. Slightly different, um, as you see here. Oh, this is the top, sorry. <laughs> Down here, slightly different. It's not as tall. Actually, it looks better that way, but we'll leave it as so. So look from the top view. It just gets it added, added more design, so it doesn't look like it's going from really thick piece here to very skinny piece. So that just makes it look a little bit wider. That bottom piece, same thing, just to make it look a little bit wider. It just has a nice circular look to it now. And it's not looking too bad. It's still terrible in the back. We should probably make it a lot fatter back here. Then instead of making a hallway. But um, I, I kind of like the hallway system a little bit more than, than anything else. So we're going to leave it as that. We just give that uh, just a tad bit more design. And we still need to finish this off. Um, so we need to close these things to make it airtight. So in order to do that, we just need to really put some blocks right over here. So if we make it, if we put a block here, we should probably, yeah, we pr probably end up putting it um, from here to here, all the way to the top. So that kind of airtight that front part of it, but. Of course, we have long, long ways to go. 
in terms of making everything airtight. And from here, we could add designs to it if we want to. So we could do it this way. We could do it this way. So we could do something like that if we want to. Just to add a little bit more random kind of designs to it. There we go. And all right, so that's looking good. So this is the front door and also, you know, the way to get in and out of the ship in the front. Um, yeah. And that connects into here. So where do we want to put like a cockpit or a seat and everything like that? Well, if this is the front, do we have a door with a decent view? <laughs> Um, I don't think we have a door with a decent view, meaning with a window that we can see through, um, and having everything airtight. So it looks like we might have to have some kind of system here where we can't see outside unless we build it up here. And I think we can actually build a whole cockpit system out here without any issues. So that we could probably think of doing later down the line. For now, I think more importantly, we want to get some kind of jump drive going um, and find a good placement for it. So it looks like we don't have a really good placement for it as well. So let's get our grav generators really quick. Or gravity components, I mean. So let's see. We wanted to make a gravity generator. So gravity generator, we can plop on anywhere for now. I'm just going to throw it here. Oop, that's not exactly what I thought I placed it. All right, so that was a bit of a noisy mess. And that's because we put on the gravity generator and think this fell down. Made that sound. And look, we got gravity. <laughs> awesome. So we can keep it on or turn it off. I think we're gonna, we're gonna keep it on. And we could just lower the gravity a little bit if we wanted to. Let's just say five for now. So we get a little bit of floating going on. Um, but actually, you know what? Just gonna turn it off. <laughs> really, we just needed that so we could just do the jump drive. So the jump drive here. Uh, what do we need? So the jump drive takes a whole bunch of superconductors. I don't know why for some reason I thought 200 was going to be more than enough. It's definitely not. So superconductors, we have 332 there and 200 here. So we need pretty much 500 more to go. So let's queue that up and hopefully we get enough. And then we put it, put it somewhere. So we do need to close out this whole ship a little bit more, as you can see. <laughs> um, but let's see if we could do any designing in the front first before we do that. All right, so we got a little bit more design in the front. We just added um, these slow blocks and the transition blocks here just to flush it out a little bit more. And we added some doors, as you can see here. We have two sliding doors. And that's about it. <laughs> Putting some... A little bit of a staircase here as well. So not much going on there while I was waiting for the platinum, the gold, and everything to be fine. And I did add another door to this thing here too, the bridge ship. And this is what it's going to look like with the hangar doors closed. But if we opened it, as you see here, that doesn't look too bad whether it's open or closed. The biggest problem I have here is we don't have a cockpit where we can see outside. Although we don't necessarily need to see outside through a cockpit, we can always put cameras. So that's something we should end up putting um, somewhere down the line. Maybe we put it right here in the middle. Maybe I get rid of this block here. Oops, I didn't want that. Put the camera right here so I can see what's in front. That might be the strat. I'm um, not sure yet. We can always put some on the here and here or anywhere else uh, for that matter. So we can decide later. Uh, but right now we are still waiting for our things to refine. So it looks like we're almost done with the superconductors, which is great. So we can put the jump drive. But we also need to 
add a whole bunch more stuff <laughs> as well in terms of um closing out the ship itself because right now it is completely exposed so that's always going to be somewhat of an issue okay so i think i can just back this thing up and close it and then i'll just weld up everything else inside so we definitely need to um turn out merge block back on and i think we can safely just back it right into it without causing any issues Ooh. okay so as i mentioned before very not forgiving because there's not a lot of space here to do this so we gotta do it kind of perfectly and there all right there we go so we're connected through a merge so now this is a nice little hallway we can just walk right through and with these clothes we can't get out unless we go inside the ship this way so we're going to leave it open for now the connector we can leave separate for now as well because we don't need to move things around there and plus we need an open connector at this point too um so that's like that's not looking too bad do we want to do more in the front here probably not yeah i think we're okay so if we were to take a step back so there's a bit of a gap here right here so do we want to put stuff there we could but i'm not sure what at this point so um hmm do we i mean another option is to make this thing not as long the neck so we can make the neck shorter and we can just get rid of this piece right here uh, which was probably pretty much useless because you will probably never stand right here to look outside and plus it's blocked by the beams so i think that's something we should think about doing in the future is just getting rid of this and that way we get a little bit closer inside without creating this big gap right here so that seems to be a bit of an issue there um but yeah that should be okay uh, for the time being so let's just get to the main point and of course that is trying to put a a jump drive so where can we put a jump drive safely without you know kind of losing it in any form and fashion so our refinery as you know it's kind of exposed from the outside in terms of the mods but in the inside piece the main piece is not as exposed so it should be okay but how should we go about this Hmm, so the jump drive is not a very big big item. It is pretty big, but it's not the most it's not the biggest thing in the world, so it's like a two block wide type of thing. So I think we could slip it like kind of like right in here if you wanted to. <laughs> so if we put it here, it's not terrible placement, I guess. I mean in some ways it's terrible because when you come out the door you're gonna see right jump drive and that might be an issue but it's the most secure spot i think we could push it back more we could put it right here we could push it back to this point but of course the bigger the, the ship we have the more jump drive we should place as well and i think and uh, that way you get more jumps and, and further jumps i think but i think this right here we actually look decent so so we can put one there and we could think about you know putting stuff on the side right there if we need to and we could put another one right here so we don't have you know enough mats for two but i'm just gonna put down two for the time being we could weld it up later down the line we, sh we should just be able to get one um right this moment but if we want to queue up additional we will queue up additional so let's see how long that's gonna take <laughs> it's probably gonna take us forever all right so welding this thing up itself is gonna take a bit of time because of all the heavy materials that it's gonna need so let's see what we can do in terms of um getting this up and running okay we look like we need 20 gravity components and 20 Detective combos. Okay, it needs a lot of stuff. <laughs> so, you know, I should have looked at that first. But we need... Um, we don't need 100. Well, we need 40 total. 
Um, 40 of these things total. And metal grids, I think we have enough of. But let's see. We don't need that. We have... Well, we don't have much metal grids, do we? Oh, we do. Nope, we don't. Huh, interesting. I thought we had a whole bunch queued up at one point. Maybe not. So, we're still going to have to wait a bit <laughs> for everything. So, we need 20 more metal grids, gravity components, 20, 20 power cells. 120 power cells, that's a lot. So, power cells, we probably don't have much of. We have 36. So, we can make... I think, um, 140? No, we don't need 140. We need 100 and probably 20. And another, we have already 30. So another 100. So 220, roughly, estimate. It's more than enough, I think. Uh, alright, so, we definitely could wait for some of the parts to come by. And, Probably don't need that many right now. So we probably do 20 metal grids first and then queue up the thousand later. So let's just see how that kind of works out. Metal grids. Yeah, 20, 20 of everything. Computer needs 300. Wow. <laughs> do we even have that many computers? Computers. Nope, we only have 20. Well, we have. We definitely have. Okay, so that's good. And I think it's actually on the other ship. So that's not good. Alright, so looks like we got a lot of work ahead of us. So what I'm going to do is actually going to be uh, welding this together once we get all the parts. And also weld the bridge ship together because we need to get that thing going and be able to store stuff too. As yeah, so we're going to probably hunt for some materials sooner or later. So yeah, so that ship takes some time to do and shouldn't take too too long. All right, so we didn't get too far, but here is our jump drive. <laughs> we got our first jump drive, but it's not enough. I mean, just traveling 5k? Not good enough, to be honest. And I think it's going to stay 5k. I'm not too sure. We'll, we'll see how that goes when it recharges, but I think it is. Um, max distance can jump is only 5k, but we'll see... What that looks like once the power is um, completely charged for it. Uh, but but other than that, yeah, we, we definitely need more. So we can definitely put more into that one over there. It just takes too long to really do anything with such little inventory. <laughs> so I got to go back and forth, back and forth. Gravity components were a pain. You can only take four or five at a time with the, the gear that I have on right now. So that wasn't fun. I think, yeah, four. You can only grab four at a time, which is insane. <laughs> um, but it is what it is. So let's see here. What do we need? So we have a lot of parts. We do have a decent amount, so it's not too bad. We are missing a lot of metal grids and everything like that as well because we couldn't weld up our bridge ship correctly or in more, more stuff at the moment. I think having two jump drives should increase our, um, what's it may call it? it? It will increase our distance uh, in that case. Whether it's going to combine, if it, it is if it is five kilometers, then five each, which should be okay. And then, or, which is five each, which we get, or the, the other aspect of it, which is this goes five, and then this is going to go five, and it jumps one at a time. I forget how that all kind of works, but I think it combines the distance. So we won't know until we get all set and ready to do so uh, with this welding, I mean. But it's going to take some bit of time because I think we are missing a whole bunch of um, superconductors and other stuff too. So that's just going to have to wait just a tad bit longer, to be honest. I don't think we're going to get this done anytime soon. I mean, we could just put all the parts there for now because we need to go ahead and um, weld up the insides for the bridge ship. But I'll probably do that off camera. You guys don't necessarily need to sit through that painful welding. So um, we'll take go ahead and take care of that relatively soon. 
but I think I do want to change at least the front of the bridge ship, the mining ship, I should really call it. So we can change this back, this conveyor, into a regular cube instead, or a block. Right down here, I, I feel like I need to, I'm going to add a piston here. So we're going to put a piston right here, and that may be a bad situation with that. It might clang out, so let's do it right here. So we actually did need an extra tube right up front here, or a conveyor block. Like we just use a conveyor junction. Let's just do that and put that together, and then we can attach the drills um, on this ship as well. All right, so we got the drill piston right over here, right in front. So that's perfect. This one we can change back to a regular steel block if we wanted to, and I think I might want to do that okay why is that not connected oh of course because we have to connect everything in inside to make it work properly so there's that all right so we're gonna get rid of this um put a steel block there or, or a regular cube there or, um so we can change that up a little bit so i'm just gonna grab everything we need for this and here we go so regular plano block right here and that's good we could put a camera here if we want to here is where we can put a drill system so i think ideally we can just kind of spread it out a little bit first or further so we could use a conveyor block here i was thinking about using a pipe system but that looked great so we put a conveyor tube here which would actually might be a little bit better than what I'm thinking or maybe not let's see we can use the T <laughs> the T tube and we can just do two drills left and right um, which would be probably be better I'm not sure haven't decided just yet yeah I think this is gonna be fine we're going to put the T-tube here, and then we can put a drill system here. So that's going to be pretty much like this and this. And that should be good for now. We can add a third one right here if we want to. Um, if, we did, if we did do that, then we can use more tubing. So we can use the C-tubings right here. And add a drill. I think we'll do that. Yeah, why not? And it should be okay where it's not touching that. It's not. Okay. So there you go. So then we have a bit of a drill system right over there. And if we really, really wanted to, <laughs> which I'm going to do, is design this out a little bit more too. So instead of having it all sticking out, we can kind of throw in these little things here. And of course, we can use beams instead. Um,. I don't know if I want to use beams, but we just do this as a design for no reason at all. <laughs> and it should be okay. It's not touching anything, so it should be fine. Here we go. Um, yeah, would it clang up a little bit? Probably not. I don't think so. Well, I guess we'll see when it comes to it. But this way, we can just add some simple stuff here. I think if I extend it out, I could design it a little bit more right in the inside. So let's just do that really quick. So do shared inertia. 0.5 is fine. Let's stick that out. Okay. Here is what I mean. Uh, we can just add. We can add this here if we need to. Right there and right here. There. So just give it some extra design once again and that's pretty much it we're gonna weld up the piston no the drills and we should be good to go all right so we got three functional drill systems going here so that's perfect exactly what i wanted um do i want to put this here uh sure why not uh we can't even do that so that's a problem <laughs> And then nothing is connected to this right now based on what's in the bridge ship currently. Um, we have a lot to work on right there. <laughs> That's why nothing is connected. 
So yeah, <laughs> we gotta wait for that to get connected before we start even start drilling for anything. So yeah, we got a long, long ways to go see here. So unfortunately, it is gonna be a slow evolution today. Um, not much going except for this whole drill system here. So when it's extended like that, it kind of looks terrible. I know, <laughs> but. The good news is that it only needs to be extended when we are on a map on an asteroid where we need to get uh, materials. Otherwise, we should be okay without it. So, yeah, I'm not sure why I'm adding these designs here. Actually, that's pointless. It's gonna look terrible there. But yeah, here we go. We have yeah, that fits perfect. That's gonna drill for materials, store in the ship, and then we transfer it over to a larger ship. Uh, we definitely still waiting for the superconductors to finish, which is actually nowhere close to being done. <laughs> I think. Yep, we have five, six hundred more to go. So actually, a little less than that. Let's see how much we have. Okay, so about four hundred more to go until we have another jump drive. So we can wait on that. What else is there left to do? Um, this. This is the pain point. We need to connect this to this. Or from here to this to this. Because this is where it's driving me really nuts where I can't grab anything on the bridge ship. So once we get that connected, then we should be golden. Um, so that way we can move stuff around. So let's see. What do we need for a large grid small car container looks like we need a little bit of everything so that's that's always kind of fun in that case so we need a little bit of metal grids that's plates which we don't have much of well we do but i don't think we carry any more than that so let's try to get those two car containers welded up so we can start welding up the rest of the stuff here too so we need some displays. We don't really produce too many displays, but let's just put some here. Let's make a hundred of them. And we don't need this many metal grids, I think, right? I don't remember why I have all these. Oh no, we probably do. And yeah, so we, I just want to really get these things done here. All right, so we figured, finally got that all settled. I think that's all we needed so we can start welding everything else up yep we can grab stuff now perfect so it's just construction components and of course displays that we're missing so that's always fun it looks like I got everything kind of queued up anyways it's the only problem is we, we queued up a little queued up a little too much <laughs> Do we need this many computers? Probably not. Yeah, so there's our issues there. Okay, so it's going to take some time to get all these welded. So I'll probably do that off camera as I mentioned before. But yeah, now we have a decent spot to grab stuff. At least for for the bridge ship. Um, I think what I'm going to do also is kind of color some of the larger piece of the ship the main ship and then i'm going to color these things here which is the beams so i want to color the beams to match up kind of exactly what we have on the bridge ship so that's the purpose of this here and the only reason why we're doing that is because we need to add some more color <laughs> if we don't add more color it's just gonna look a little bit odd so uh, we might as well take care of this right in this moment okay, so i can't get to the one in there or can i i could okay so i gotta be right over here there we go perfect so adding that color will match the bridge ship a little bit more and it's gonna look a little bit better and not clashing uh, with the design here all right there we go so we got that colored up see what that's looking like there you go 
So that just adds a little bit more color to it and it's looking better. So it looks like what we need to change also is probably these mods to kind of adjust the color a bit more. Here we go. There we go. Actually, that looks good. I like that. We should really finish this off. Um, so I'm going to do that. And let's kind of see what else we can do on the outside. Um, in terms of designing of the ship a little bit more. We should really kind of um, close up the large ship sooner or later. later. So we'll just weld up this stuff for now, although it's not necessary because we're not going to close up the ship anytime soon, it looks like. I do want to close it up and make sure everything's airtight and everything like that. But not much we can do about it right this very moment. So we're just going to have to keep working on it. And eventually um, we're going to get a decent large ship here. We do need to shift some things over because it's no point of having some of these thrusters in here as well. So we have these hydrogen thrusters and ion thrusters that's like sitting right in the inside of the ship or so. Or so. So like this one here is pointing inside here. We could definitely extend this down there instead of putting it here. So we got to figure that out too. So still a lot of things we can kind of clean up and um, figure out still. we This piece here we can get rid of. Um, we can figure that out eventually towards the end. Um, yeah, towards the end. When we are going to kind of create the back part of the ship. I'm not sure what the back part of the ship is going to look like since this was the front so we gotta f do something with that and we need to get this oxygen tank um moved so we probably will add multiple of those we probably just can't just use one so we need to put that somewhere else i think there's only one oxygen tank on this ship right yeah there's only one so we need to put that somewhere and it could be inside here somewhere if necessary maybe up here yeah we could put it up here I'm going to do that now um, so we don't forget about it later down the line. So the oxygen tank we can put right here. Um, like so. Here we go. We got an oxygen tank right here. And that should connect to everything as well. So the only thing I need to do in terms of this oxygen tank is make sure to stockpile this one. So we can empty out this one in the back so we can remove it without wasting all the oxygen that we need so that's kind of the point in that so it moves quickly when you stockpile which is great so let's see where are we gonna get 0% here and 98% not too bad okay so this one's empty so we can finally take this one off so that's not sticking out and as you see here the dark the, these gray items are the original respawn ships <laughs> items so this hydrogen engine this car container that's all part of the original design even this right here the catwalk part of the original design as well so we kind of kept all that there but we do need to shift things around a lot more um, relatively soon i would think uh, all right so this is looking good i feel like i don't know why i'm doing this today but uh the the Design calls for um, adding more beam blocks for whatever reasons that I feel like doing. And I feel like we can add some beam blocks going this way as well. Do I want to do that? Uh, we can try it. Yeah, we can definitely try it. Alright, so here we go. We got a bit of a new design right there. Kind of like a mustache over the ship kind of thing. <laughs> Um, not sure exactly why I'm working on aesthetics when I should be more focused on the functional pieces of the ship. But I guess it's because we're waiting for a lot of materials to kind of um, refine. That's probably the main thing. Uh, Alright, so what else can we do? It looks like we do need some lights in front. Uh, I think we can add some lights up in front here in the cockpit section can we add it right here 
Nope. I thought we could. Guess not. I mean, we could add one, I think, right up here. So we could do one of these corner lights. Let's do that for now. I think we add a corner light right over here. That will give us some, some light throughout the windows a little bit, but nothing too crazy. So we'll just throw it right there. I guess that gives us some sunshine in front of us, I think. It'll give us some light. It's not going to be a lot. And yeah, we can't put anything here. I wish we could. If we could, I could put a spotlight there, but we can't. So we'll leave it as that. Um, in terms of production, we are still... Well, we're almost done with our superconductor, so that's good. So we can kind of get our jump drive, which is our main thing we were planning to do today. Um, get all the superconductors in there. I think by the time we get all our superconductors in there, uh, we should be good to go. So if I remove everything except for the hydrogen tank... We should be able to grab just a tiny bit more superconductors. 135. So that should... Oh, well, we need the welder. So that's a bad plan. So we need to so we put the welder so we carry one less. Okay, so whatever. Okay, so we get 134 at a time. So that's going to be a painful um, process. <laughs> so hang on tight. Alright, so we're missing about a hundred. I think that was what we were miss are producing so far. So we're yeah. We're we're getting there. We're almost there. We're not there yet, but we're almost there. Alright, so we're missing a hundred. So that's gonna produce uh, relatively quickly, so that's fine. Let's get our stuff back and Yeah, let's see what's going on in the outside really quickly. Alright, so let's see here. Um, I think once we get our thruster components, we should be able to get the large thrusters up and running. And the side thrusting, uh, right here, uh, it's not the best looking, but it's going to have to do for now. And then our up and down thrust, that's where we're going to run into issues too. So we need to add some space for that somehow. So the attachment piece, the main ship, once again... I feel like we could just kind of close this gap, but we'll leave that as is. But we changed the color a bit in the back, so we make it match with the bridge ship a little bit, and it's looking better. It's not, you know, a significant change, but it's looking better. And our jump drive is good to go, so we could make our first jump if we want, but I don't think we need to go anywhere right this moment. We still have a bunch of things to refine, so... Yeah. We have the... Um, pretty much a drill arm here and that can extend so that's going to help us drill since we can't uh, fit this wide ship in the front <laughs> so that's why we have the extension with the piston there's still a lot of things we gotta wait for and hopefully I can find some time to just kind of get in here wait for the production or refinery to work itself out so we can kind of weld up everything we need to um, inside Especially the bridge ship, because that's using a lot of different space. Um, in the meantime, we're probably going to continue on with designing the ship a little bit more. Um, at the same time, <laughs> work on the more functional stuff, like thrusters and things like that. But so far, so good. Uh, it was, it's 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 really is taking its shape a lot more. Actually, pretty like I like the drill arm that I created there. It looks pretty cool. So, yeah, sorry, sorry for a slow evolution of this. Um, currently, it's just you know we're 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 going big, so it's gonna take a lot of time to refine. So we also need to work on design a little bit more. But yeah, I really need to focus on the inside stuff first. I believe we need more cargo containers, um, hydrogen tanks, all that stuff. So we gotta fix that up unbrick the wing a little bit because it's looking like a brick and go from there um but I'm, but i think i'm very proud of the bridge ship how it turned out the neck piece we can change a little bit but not too too much if we wanted to so that's another thing i hope you guys enjoyed this video hit that thumbs up like the video subscribe to the channel and of course i'll see you guys next time bye